1. The normality of frequent urination as we age. While it can be alarming to notice a sudden increase in urination frequency, especially waking up every two hours at night, it's essential to understand that this can be a natural part of aging for many people. The body's ability to concentrate urine diminishes over time, and as a result, more trips to the bathroom may be necessary. In your 40s and 50s, it's typical to wake up once a night to urinate, a phenomenon known as nocturia. As you progress into your 60s and beyond, this frequency often increases to two or even three times per night. This is primarily because the bladder muscles weaken with age, making it more difficult to hold urine for extended periods. Additionally, as kidney function subtly decreases with age, urine becomes less concentrated, leading to larger volumes of dilute urine. However, while these changes are often normal, frequent urination that disrupts your sleep too much may indicate underlying health concerns. For instance, it may be associated with conditions like heart disease, sleep disorders, or other systemic health problems. Furthermore, for those experiencing frequent urination alongside back or abdominal pain, it could be a sign of kidney issues or related to other organs in the vicinity, such as the bladder or prostate. Identifying the line between normal aging and when to seek medical advice is crucial for maintaining overall health. Two urinary tract infections, UTIs. UTIs are one of the leading causes of frequent urination, and they can affect any part of the urinary tract, including the kidneys, bladder, or urethra. When a UTI develops, it inflames and irritates the lining of the urinary tract, which causes an increased urge to urinate more often, even when there's little urine to pass. This is because the body is trying to flush out the bacteria, causing the infection. Other symptoms commonly associated with UTIs include a burning sensation during urination, cloudy or bloody urine, and pelvic or lower abdominal pain. UTIs are more common in women due to the shorter length of their urethra, which allows bacteria to reach the bladder more easily. However, men, children, and the elderly can also develop UTIs, and in some cases, these infections can spread to the kidneys, leading to more severe complications such as fever, nausea, and back pain. In addition to standard medical treatments such as antibiotics, some home remedies can support recovery from UTIs. For example, drinking plenty of water can help to flush bacteria from the urinary tract, while cranberry juice has been traditionally believed to prevent bacteria from sticking to the bladder walls. Some research suggests that garlic may also have antibacterial properties that could benefit UTI sufferers. Probiotics, which help balance the body's bacteria levels, can also aid recovery. However, more research is needed to conclusively support these claims. Overall, frequent urination due to a UTI is a condition that should not be ignored, and seeking medical advice for proper diagnosis and treatment is crucial. 3. Diabetes and its impact on urination Diabetes is a condition that significantly affects the body's ability to regulate blood sugar levels, leading to a range of symptoms, one of the most prominent being frequent urination. When blood sugar levels are elevated, as is often the case in both type 1 and type 2 diabetes, the kidneys work overtime to filter and absorb the excess glucose. When they cannot keep up, excess glucose is excreted into the urine, dragging along fluids from your body, which in turn causes you to urinate more frequently. This process is known as osmotic diuresis. In addition to frequent urination, Symptoms like intense thirst, fatigue, and blurred vision are common in individuals with diabetes. This is the body's attempt to maintain balance by flushing out excess sugar and replacing lost fluids. Managing diabetes effectively can help reduce the frequency of urination. This involves maintaining a balanced diet, regular physical activity, and possibly medication or insulin therapy to regulate blood sugar levels. In terms of home remedies, Staying hydrated with water is essential, but sugary drinks or caffeine should be avoided as they can exacerbate both blood sugar levels and the need to urinate. Herbs like fenugreek and cinnamon have shown promise in managing blood sugar levels naturally, though they should be used under a doctor's supervision. Additionally, foods rich in fiber help regulate blood sugar levels by slowing down glucose absorption. Controlling diabetes is crucial not only for managing urination frequency, but also for preventing complications like diabetic nephropathy, 
a condition where prolonged high blood sugar damages the kidneys and can lead to kidney disease. 4. Dehydration's Surprising Link to Frequent Urination While it might seem counterintuitive, dehydration can actually lead to frequent urination. When your body lacks sufficient fluids, the kidneys are unable to function optimally and may attempt to conserve water by concentrating urine, which can irritate the bladder. This irritation, in turn, may cause an increased urge to urinate more frequently, even though your bladder isn't full. Dehydration also triggers the body to release a hormone called vasopressin, which causes the kidneys to retain water. This, however, leads to a buildup of toxins in the body because the kidneys aren't filtering out waste products efficiently. Chronic dehydration may exacerbate bladder problems, and over time, it could contribute to the development of kidney stones, a painful condition that can also result in frequent urination. To prevent dehydration, it's important to drink plenty of water throughout the day. Avoid beverages that can contribute to dehydration, such as alcohol and caffeinated drinks, which act as diuretics and increase urine production. Foods with high water content, such as cucumbers, oranges, and melons, can also help you stay hydrated. Coconut water is an excellent natural remedy for dehydration, as it contains electrolytes that help replenish lost fluids. In more severe cases of dehydration, especially in hot climates or during intense physical activity, electrolyte solutions may be needed to restore balance. Understanding how dehydration contributes to frequent urination is important for overall kidney health and preventing further complications such as urinary tract infections or kidney stones. 5. An overactive bladder and its effects on daily life. An overactive bladder OAB is a condition that causes a sudden, uncontrollable urge to urinate, even when the bladder isn't full. This can be frustrating and disruptive to daily life, as it may result in frequent trips to the bathroom, including at night. OAB is often the result of abnormal nerve signals that cause the bladder muscles to contract involuntarily. While it can affect anyone, it's more common in older adults and may be associated with neurological conditions, such as Parkinson's disease, multiple sclerosis, or stroke. Stress and anxiety can also exacerbate OAB symptoms, creating a vicious cycle where worry about frequent urination leads to even more frequent urges. Managing an overactive bladder often involves a combination of lifestyle changes, behavioral therapies, and in some cases, medication. Pelvic floor exercises, known as Kegel exercises, can help strengthen the muscles that control urination and reduce the symptoms of OAB. Bladder training, which involves gradually increasing the time between bathroom visits, can also be effective. On the natural remedies side, some studies suggest that pumpkin seed extract may help reduce OAB symptoms as it supports healthy bladder function. Additionally, limiting bladder irritants such as caffeine, spicy foods, and acidic foods can help. Herbal remedies like corn silk and horsetail have been traditionally used to support bladder health though more research is needed to confirm their efficacy. By addressing the root causes of OAB and implementing management strategies, many people can regain control over their bladder and improve their quality of life. Six bladder infections, causes, symptoms, and natural remedies. Bladder infections, commonly known as urinary tract infections, UTIs, occur when bacteria, usually from the gastrointestinal tract, enter the urethra and multiply in the bladder. The most common culprit is Escherichia coli, E. coli, which resides in the intestines but can easily spread to the urinary tract if proper hygiene practices aren't followed. Symptoms of bladder infections include a frequent and intense urge to urinate, a burning sensation during urination, cloudy or strong-smelling urine, and lower abdominal discomfort. In severe cases, a bladder infection can spread to the kidneys, leading to fever, chills, and back pain, which requires immediate medical attention. Bladder infections can often be treated with antibiotics, but there are also a number of natural remedies that can help prevent or alleviate symptoms. One of the most popular natural remedies is cranberry juice, which contains compounds that prevent bacteria from adhering to the bladder walls. However, it's important to choose pure, unsweetened cranberry juice as added sugars can exacerbate the infection. Probiotics, particularly those containing lactobacillus species, can help balance the flora in the urinary tract making it more difficult for harmful bacteria to take hold. Another potent remedy is demenose, a type of sugar that occurs naturally in fruits like cranberries and apples. 
Demonose has been shown to inhibit the binding of E. coli to the urinary tract, helping to flush out the bacteria during urination. In addition to these natural remedies, practicing good hygiene and drinking plenty of water are essential in preventing bladder infections. Staying hydrated helps dilute urine and encourages frequent urination, which flushes bacteria from the urinary system. It's also advisable to urinate after sexual intercourse, as this helps clear any bacteria that may have entered the urethra. For women, wiping from front to back after using the restroom can prevent the spread of bacteria from the anal region to the urethra. Incorporating these habits into your daily routine can help prevent bladder infections and improve urinary health. 7. The Role of Diet in Managing Frequent Urination Diet plays a crucial role in both the development and management of frequent urination. Certain foods and beverages are known to irritate the bladder, triggering more frequent urges to urinate. For instance, caffeine, alcohol, spicy foods, and artificial sweeteners can all act as bladder irritants. Caffeinated drinks such as coffee, tea, and sodas have a diuretic effect, meaning they increase the production of urine, which can exacerbate the issue of frequent urination. Additionally, acidic foods such as citrus fruits and tomatoes can irritate the bladder lining, leading to increased urgency. To manage frequent urination, it is important to identify and eliminate these irritants from your diet. Instead, focus on foods that promote bladder health. High-fiber foods such as whole grains, vegetables, and legumes help prevent constipation which can put pressure on the bladder and worsen urinary symptoms. Foods rich in magnesium, such as bananas, avocados, and spinach, are particularly beneficial for people with an overactive bladder. Magnesium is known to help reduce bladder muscle spasms and support overall muscle function. Incorporating anti-inflammatory foods like berries, fatty fish, and leafy greens can also help soothe the bladder and reduce irritation. Hydration is key, but drinking water in smaller, consistent amounts throughout the day is more effective than consuming large quantities all at once, which can overwhelm the bladder. Herbal teas made from chamomile, marshmallow root, and corn silk have been traditionally used to calm the bladder and reduce inflammation. These teas not only help with hydration, but also have soothing properties that can alleviate the urgency and discomfort associated with frequent urination. Adopting a bladder-friendly diet can significantly reduce symptoms and improve quality of life for those struggling with frequent urination. 8. Hormonal Changes and Frequent Urination Hormonal changes, particularly during menopause, pregnancy, and menstruation, can have a profound effect on urination frequency. In women, hormonal fluctuations are often linked to changes in the bladder and surrounding muscles. During pregnancy, the growing uterus puts pressure on the bladder, leading to more frequent trips to the bathroom. The hormonal changes during pregnancy can also cause the bladder muscles to relax contributing to incontinence and an increased urge to urinate. Similarly, during menstruation, the drop in estrogen levels can cause water retention and bloating, which in turn affects the bladder and may lead to more frequent urination. Menopause, in particular, is a time when many women experience urinary changes due to the decline in estrogen. Estrogen helps maintain the strength and elasticity of the bladder and urethra. When estrogen levels drop, the pelvic floor muscles may weaken, and the lining of the bladder and urethra can become thin and less elastic, leading to issues such as frequent urination, urgency, and even incontinence. These hormonal shifts can also make women more susceptible to bladder infections. Addressing hormone-related urination issues often involves a multifaceted approach. Hormone replacement therapy, HRT, can be effective in reducing symptoms related to low estrogen levels, particularly for postmenopausal women. Additionally, Pelvic floor exercises can help strengthen the muscles that support the bladder and urethra, reducing symptoms of frequency and urgency. Natural remedies such as black cohosh, flaxseed, and phytoestrogens found in soy products have been suggested to help balance hormones, though their effectiveness may vary. For pregnant women, maintaining good hydration, practicing pelvic floor exercises, and avoiding bladder irritants can help manage frequent urination. Understanding the link between hormones and urination frequency is crucial in finding effective treatments and improving overall bladder health. Overall bladder health. Overall. Thank you all for taking the time to watch our video today. If you found it helpful or enjoyable, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to not miss out on similar content in the future. Share your thoughts in the comments section. We would love to hear from you. We truly appreciate your support and look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thank you and goodbye.